Welcome back to a new video here in Suave. In this video, we're going to be talking about anim curves, which is a function that was added in DaVinci Resolve 17. For that, in this case, we're going to use an adjustment layer and we're going to open it in Fusion. Now, this function can be used in pretty much any nodes. If you have a text node, for example, in view, you want to animate the size. You can also use the anim curves for that. In this case, we're just going to use the transform node so that I can explain the basis and how it works. So we're going to animate the size in this case, and we're going to go to modify with the net and then add an anim curves. Now you will see it disappear. And that is because the size went to zero. We can go here to the modifier and you will see that the scale is at set at five. That means that when it reaches the last point here, the, the size is going to be multiplied by five times the original size. If we do one, now it's going to be full screen. And the reason why this is at zero is because our offset which is where the image or the transform value will start is at zeros. We we'll put one here, then it's gonna start at one, and then it's gonna zoom all the way one more time. So it's gonna double the zoom size here that we have. Now by default, the source is always set to transition. You can set it to duration or to custom. I think transition is pretty much the best uh, way to use it because that is usually what you would use this for. In this case, it's set the curve is set to linear, which if we look at this spline here, we can see the curve right here on linear. Now, what I like to do is click here on linear. You can use easing, which allows you to add a couple of different base or default curves styles. You can see as soon as I update it, I click sign here, the curve moved right here. And if you do the same thing for the other one, then the curve will change again. What I like to do is I will go to here where it says curve and then I will go to custom and here you can see the same spline that you have here. When what you can do here is if you press control A, you will select both of these and then you can press F and you will see that same thing happening again. And if you make any changes here, then this whole thing changes again. It's it's a bit weird in the sense of why this happens sometimes it gets bugged here, but you can see the whole thing here and that's what I use it normally. Now the time scale means how fast you want it to happen. Now in this case, if we go around this timeline, you will see the whole thing takes place across 23 frames or 24. And what you can do if you press the time scale to two, that means that it will be faster and it will take half the amount of time to go from zero or the offset point from here, this is zero to one, which is here. If you press mirror, that will alter and add the spline to right at the half point, which means that the whole thing will take place at half the amount of times. If you drag your adjustment layer or fusion clip, uh, if you make it longer, then it will just still apply the same way. That is one of the great things also about the anim curves is that it adapts automatically when you drag or make your adjustment clips longer. Now you will see here is going to go all the way to one here, the scale or two in this case, basically, and then we'll go back to normal. Now, one cool thing that you can do is if you don't want to use mirror and you want to create a transition, for example, you don't want it to last the whole time. You can actually move these points here and then the transition will basically end before or get to the point before these one right here. If you want the whole thing, for example, if you want to add changes or add a, a few weird movements, for example, you can add more things here and you can click one in this case. And if you select both of these and press F, they went, then you will be adding an extra effect to your curves. Yeah. So that is basically what you can do. It's pretty straightforward. What you can do. It's all basically about just playing around and then getting the type of movement that you want. So yeah, that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful. I will see you in the next video here in Swabi. Bye.